When dusk turns to gloom on the Severn estuary, the gulls glide home, heading for diamonds of distant lights. But the tugs keep coming, and the docks, neon lit like a shanty town of sheds and towers, keep working. Powered by neighbour Seabank Power Station, crackling on full burn across the water. At midnight, out in the churning tide and the blackness, the tugmaster must rely on his instruments and his eyes to guide him. He sees the flying white light, travelling upriver at speed. That's his quarry. The light becomes 22,000 tonnes of steel hull. A cargo ship inbound for Avonmouth dock. It's laden with chilled orange juice from Brazil. 20,000 tonnes of it. To feed the public thirst for vitamin C. Necessary to fight the pandemic trying to take our breath away. and it's all doing 16 knots, heading for land. And in the darkness, he's got to stop it. He must take control, catch the ship 15 times his size, and get a line on her stern, slow her down. He knows his crew, they're well trained, but what about the men on the ship? He will never meet them. Do they even speak English? He must get his prow up hard on the steel stern plates. Then a sailor throws down a messenger line and his men hook it up to the winches. Soon, his heaving line is making the reverse journey up the stern to the ship. he can stand off and take the strain. He has the ship on the line, hauling it back in the darkness. is under his control and he can land her safely in the dock at Avonmouth. Ten cargo ships, car transporters, tankers and bulk carriers 
will come and go by moonlight. A Wallenius Wilhelmsen roll-on, roll-off vehicle transporter bustles in to pick up 2,000 cars. MSC Ira, a container ship inbound to Portbury Dock from Antwerp. She's flagged in Panama and has had seven names in her 38 years of globe-trotting life. She began as the Capitan Kozlovsky. Nuts and bolts, plastic bath ducks, Lego blocks, crisps, bicycle wheels, even your new TV. It's all freighted in by containers on ships just like these. With the falling moon, the new day prompts an east wind to swirl away the night mists. And upstream comes the first daylight visitor, Euphrates Highway, carrying 4,000 cars and vans for the morning men to shift. And the story will begin again as it has done for a generation of seamen and dockers.